Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Today's wine, pure plaisir. Uh, so, pure pleasure. Uh, and the pure pleasure is uh, in the form of a 2010 Cahors from Chateau Au Mont Plaisir, made from Malbec. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, parcels are more than 30 years old, low yields, 22 months in oak. Ce véritable nectar. Well, shall we see whether it's a veritable nectar or just something in a heavy bottle that's uh, trying to impress me? Anyway, give it a whirl. It's got the sweet, oily, um, ever so slight, uh, Kirsch uh, stroke creme de cassis like character of uh, very ripe Malbec that you get in Argentina. But then, just to remind you that it's French, there's a um, earthy, iron rich, hearty, um, ever so slightly rustic element behind. Good rustic. Woof. Poof. <clears throat> um, the, it's a really uh, rich, uh, fleshy, voluptuous wine, uh, back, packed with flavour, um, and uh, those, um, those those similar characters to, to what I was smelling. Those those uh, uh, verging on the uh, creme de cassis and the kirsch uh, with those those earthy, hearty elements in there, and then the oak. I mean, you you could smell a little bit of the the smokiness of the oak. The oak is acting as a uh, restraint, holding it all together, uh, but holding it together in such a way that it almost feels like the wine is bursting at the seams, um, and. Um, is 22 months in oak too much for something like that? Uh, I think that you're seeing it at the stage now, where which is probably uh, perhaps slightly unfair, because uh, the oak does uh, does does poke out quite a lot. Um, but um, the fruit behind is so rich and and fully flavoured uh, that um, you you think yes, with time the oak will subside and the flavour uh, will will uh, will still be there. If I have a concern, it's that maybe the flavours are on that verging on that slightly overripe going towards the jammy and um, maybe with uh, uh, once the oak has subsided they will have just the, 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 the little bit of freshness that's still there now will have gone and you'll be left with something that's just a little bit oh you know fat Englishman in a, in a deck chair with um, with his moves out um, I um, I like it in some ways I don't know how much of it I would want to drink in its current state and I don't know, uh, I, I can't be sure where it's going. Uh, what I will do is I'll keep an eye on it and, um, I, but it intrigues me. I, 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 I think that there, it, it's good that people make wines like this that are at the extreme and then hopefully they back off a little bit and make something that uh, is less intense but more drinkable. Yes, maybe that's my problem here. It is intense, but uh, I don't know how much of it I want to drink. See you soon.